Hello YouTubers and welcome to a new video of Arepas for Dinner. For the ones who don't know me, my name is Andrea and I make what for dinners and vlogs. I live in the Czech Republic so I try to document everything around me. Also, when I do what's for dinners, I try to be very inclusive and every time I use ingredients that are not normal in US or in the Czech Republic, I try to leave links down below to where you can find those ingredients. So this video today is going to be a little bit different because it's not going to be a what's for dinner per se, it's going to be what I eat in a day with recipes. I'm sharing one breakfast, one lunch, all my snacks and I'm sharing two dinners. One dinner that is a typical dinner that I wouldn't record for my what's for dinner and one dinner that you all requested so much because it was my, my pork pot roast that I think is pretty amazing and is delicious and actually I use the leftovers to eat arepas with, so that's that. Remember, don't forget to subscribe and to give this video a big thumbs up. I publish videos like this twice a week, so you always are gonna have fun and new content with me. So for breakfast, I eat a lot, like I really enjoy it, I eat a lot. Every day I have spinach scrambled eggs. When I have mushrooms, I add them too, and this time I had it, so I added them. I always use extra virgin olive oil to cook everything. I work from home, so I cook these only for myself. I saute my mushrooms and then I add baby spinach. And then I add in two eggs. It's like a deconstructed omelette. Now I'm adding some mozzarella cheese to it. The one that I bought in bulk. I just cook it until the cheese is fully melted. And sometimes I have sausage for breakfast, but I have a 15 sec cooking trick. Yeah, <laughs> I microwave my sausage. Also, I wanted to show you what I add on my bread. Sometimes I'll just eat it with the laughing cow cheese, but more times actually I use some extra virgin olive oil and salt. I learned this when I was living in Valencia, Spain, and I love it. For drink, I usually go with tea. I add one scoop of collagen powder because it's good for your hair and your skin, and the pills don't really work. Only eating gelatin does, and this is pretty much it. I add some stevia for sweet. I like drinking this one, but I also enjoy the fruity ones. Around 2 p.m. I'm gonna have lunch. I'll have frozen strawberry banana milkshake using normal milk. I usually add a spoon of Splenda to make it more sweet. Honestly, this is the most creamy, almost like ice cream milkshake ever. I have it almost every day, to be honest. For eating, I'm gonna have a sandwich. I just use a hoshka. Is this a small round bread that I'm toasting? I'm toasting it in the mini oven and halfway through I'm gonna add the cheese. I usually use Kraft-like cheese because it melts better. Once the cheese has melted, we'll assemble the sandwich using two hams and I'm gonna add some mustard. Yellow mustard is actually harder to find here and more expensive, so I use brown instead. And I add some mixed lettuce from the mixed bag I bought. And then on the side, I can have chips, I can have tomatoes. In this case, I'm gonna have some blue cheese that I had. I'm also gonna have an apple, and that's my lunch. Then, later on, I have a spoon of this marshmallow cream. I actually love this stuff. And one spoon is only like 40 calories, so it's not like super, super bad and this really takes my sweet cravings away. I bought this one in the candy bowl. I'm gonna leave a link down below to where you can find that in Prague. For dinner, I usually have my what's for dinners. 
you all have seen my videos and if not I'm gonna leave a link at the end of the video so you can check them out. Today I'll show you two different dinners. A super simple one that I will not normally record for the what's for dinner and a more what's for dinner style night. So for the simple dinner I'm gonna do pasta with meatballs using IKEA ready meatballs in a jar of sauce. It cannot get more simple than that. I'll cook the meatballs in the sauce with some water for about 40 minutes. I'll add some seasoning to it. This Italian perfect pinch is ideal and of course some onion powder. I also decided for the mushrooms, so I'm gonna add that too. And that's it. Those are the dinners that we have during the week that we don't film. <laughs> Only because so many of you went crazy about my last night's pork pot roast, I'll share my recipe here as a bonus. You will need cilantro, pork pieces with no bone, gravy package, I'm gonna leave a link in the description where you can find these in Czech Republic, a spoon of ranch, rice, and salt. Let's begin by chopping our cilantro. Now, in our crockpot, which you should buy one if you don't have one because these things are amazing, you would add the pork and the brown gravy package. Add the cilantro on and add now some powder ranch. I'm also adding one cup of water to create the sauce. Then cover it and cook it for seven hours in high. About two hours before it's ready, or you can do this one hour before, that's fine, I break down my pork into smaller pieces. Don't do it too much, remember, it's not pulled pork. And that's it, it's so simple and so, so good. Enjoy! And my last meal of the day, usually after dinner, while I'm watching TV, I would have some orange. And remember, if you can buy Valencia oranges, those are much better than all the others that I've tried, in my opinion, of course. I keep my oranges in the fridge to make sure that they're super cold and refreshing. So that was it guys, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. Also, I'm gonna leave here my social media, my Instagram, so you can follow me there and know what recipes or what things I'm up to, so you can know what are the new videos that are coming in my channel. Thank you so much for watching, it means a lot to me that you made it all the way till the end. And I'm so happy my YouTube family is actually growing so much lately. I've been literally putting my heart and soul into this and I'm just excited for the new things that are coming to the channel. Stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!